Hello riders and welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell and today we're going to take a look at some footage that we never got to about a month or so ago when we were doing the breakdown for these. We had the saber tooth fight that we talked about and then we also went through one of the battles that they showed us leading up to the saber tooth uh, introduction and that one we talked about the cards and the different types of things that will be in the gameplay and into the battle scenes but now it's time to focus on the stuff outside of the battles and that's what the abbey is. So as there, you know, we have our three hosts here, Jake being one of them, and, you know, everyone here that is talking about their social media there, they just plugged, and then they plugged the newsletter. If you go sign up, you get the exclusive Blade Nightwalker skin, so make sure you go do that if you haven't done it already. But now they're actually going to show us full-on gameplay of the Abbey, which is what is, I guess, being described as called, like, uh, almost like in Mass Effect, where you'll go to parts of, you know, there'll be parts of the game in between missions where you go and interact with other characters, and depending on, you know, what kind of relationships you build with them depends on where you go forward in the story with some of those characters. And that seems to be the case here. Um, so at the Abbey, you can hang out with Blade and, and uh, Doctor Strange. You can pick whoever you want to hang out with more. And there's like hangouts and, and friendship sessions or whatever. And if you, I guess, do stuff with your friends and do stuff with the team, that helps them trust you more. It, it uh, powers them up in certain ways. It gives them confidence. It boosts them up. And that's kind of the the purpose of the Abbey, as a and that and doing side quests. So here we are. We got the footage where our main character, the hunter, is walking around. This does look really gorgeous. The sky looks fantastic. the The scenery looks really good. Um, the the sound quality is good. Like her stepping on the rocks and stuff is, it's really well done. I, I like this. The the sun is moving overhead. Clouds are moving, and then you got part of the Abbey right there, which just looks cool. It looks like an old like kind of church grounds in a way uh, like a I don't know it's really cool and then you got some ruins there which we're gonna I think she's gonna walk over to that later um, but these are called the wild cliffs as you can see on screen there and we're running towards a portal so this is the start of a mission essentially this is when you go okay uh, I, we're, we're gonna go on a mission so magic opens up the portal there you can talk to her if you want and you just walk right through and you'll end up in a place called limbo which we talked briefly about before but here it is again and you got the caretaker there you know, saying a few words, giving you some advice, and uh, and then you have some objectives in the top left corner. I think we talked about that before. And then it tells you what day it is and if it's nighttime or daytime. So this is Tuesday, it looks like, uh, during the day. So yeah, and this is, you get a good shot of Limbo here. So this is the area in between realms that Magic has access to. I think this is also a similar, like, realm to what Nightcrawler can go through. But um, I can't really remember. But that would be cool if we get a Nightcrawler cameo at some point. Although I thought Nightcrawler's world looked... Well, I mean, they're interpreting it from the comics. So this could just be a different look. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, then you go into battle. And we've already talked about battling. So here we're back at the Hunter's living quarters. So this is your room. You can decorate this room, from what I understand. Uh, and I think what they say uh, when, when they were talking. So uh, you can actually decorate this. So as you go around and get you know trophies and, and uh, achievements and stuff, you can set them around the room. Um, then you got a pet uh, hellhound here, which is cool, and you can go over and pet him. Again, your objective's in the top left corner, but by petting him, you're you're basically building a relationship with the dog in a way, so that way it trusts you more. Um, it'll probably stay in your room more often if if it loves you more, <laughs> you know. And then uh, and maybe it'll come to your aid and it'll lead you around places in the abbey that would uh, maybe unlock some side quests for you. And so yeah, then you got like Tony and Ghost Rider hanging out at the bar, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. And I wonder if Tony's like, hey, kid, let me buy you a drink. And then maybe Ghost Rider lights it on fire for Tony. Uh, you got Blade there. And I think Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange. And then over here, you got Nico and the Caretaker back here. So the Caretaker, um, you know, she's kind of uh, an exposition tree, I guess, <laughs> in a way. You can go talk to her and branch out different conversations. You can talk to any of these characters and do that. But here, like you said, you got to sit down with Nico you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, listen to them. So it looks like there's a lot of this going on where you're just kind of hearing about their stories and their life in a way. And I don't know if you'll be able to influence it or act in any way. I guess you get to choose, like she's doing here with the caretaker, you can choose what to say in response. And that could, like I said, either make them like you or not like you or be indifferent about you, I guess. So, uh, so all those things help lead to a stronger team. So if you want to, I guess, you know, forge a really strong bond with any of these characters, that's the way to do it, um, is just by talking to them and doing activities with them. So here you see the dog got activated and it's now leading you to a potential secret because there's a lot of secrets and hidden things around the Abbey. 
and now it's a uh, nighttime you know and the fog's coming out it looks really cool look at that moon that is awesome um yeah this is just beautiful I, i'm just this game is just really gorgeous looking and i like that this part's in third person i mean as much as it i know part of this feels like it could be a little boring but for me i feel like with all these secrets here and i you know um you know images and, and and story pieces to unlock from the marvel universe i i look forward to playing a lot in the abbey for sure i'm looking forward to the battles too because the battles look fun but um, i don't know what those rock statues were it looks like there's a sacrificial um altar in the middle there so i don't know what that's all about um that building back there that we should just walk by the door open with the portal in it i think that's um i think tony and dr stranger in there i think you can forge stuff in that place i think um, then you got all these woods. I mean, this is cool. It reminds me of Resident Evil a little bit. <laughs> so you're going, they're going over to the statue. The dog is trying to alert you of something. And this is an Agatha Harkness statue, who I think just got announced that she's going to get her own TV show. I think that rumor is going around. So anyway, that's where the footage ends. But uh, but yeah, Agatha Harkness. So again, more of that reference, uh, you know, more Scarlet Witch references in this. Like, it seems like at one point, Scarlet Witch was possibly up to be the the hunter or of modern day to defend but when when she i guess lost control of her powers or was unreliable they went and awakened the original hunter uh since they found out she was still alive and they're like okay maybe we do have hope to battle uh, lilith so that's the story and that's what the abbey is right now and i'm sure we'll get more updates on this game soon since the game comes out in about five months from now so next time we get an update i will definitely make a video for y'all and until then i'll probably cover some comic books because there's a new Darkhold comic series coming out right now that I've already got the first issue for. And then there's a couple other things uh, like the first appearance of the Darkhold and other stories that I want to talk to you guys about as well. And we'll dive into those very soon. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.